For more on the crisis between Iran and Israel, we can speak to Sharam Akbarzadeh, who is the convener of the Middle East Forum at Deakin University in Melbourne. Good morning, Sharam. Israel is weighing up its options and has promised retribution against Iran following Tuesday's strikes. If it were to attack, what targets might it choose? Thanks for having me, Oliver. I think it is uh, certain that Israel will retaliate. Uh, that has been Israel's pattern. It always responds uh, with extreme force to uh, any attack. Um, and there are a number of targets that Israel can choose. Uh, there are Iranian ports, um, oil refinery, even nuclear facilities that Israel can target. And uh, Iran says that it struck Israel on Tuesday to restore balance in the region following the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh on its own soil and also Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. But what would Tehran do if Israel were to strike back? Well, I think in what the Iranian authorities say about the attack, about their decision to uh, attack Israel, um, is probably for public consumption, really, uh, because um, everyone knows that Iran has not established deterrence. Um, it has only escalated tensions. It has only allowed Israel to hit back and hit back even harder. So the Iranian authorities have really played into Netanyahu's hands. Um, so that's really dangerous, dangerous turn of events because in the past, Iran had um, outsourced its um, fight against Israel to its various proxies, to Hamas and Hezbollah to do the fighting and tried to keep itself out of conflict. Now Iran is very much embroiled in the conflict. Now, even right wing commentators in Israel are urging caution for fear of inflaming a regional conflict that, that should Israel strike Iran. Now, in the rather dreadful event that this might happen, how, what could we expect such a regional conflict to look like? I think uh, the biggest danger here is that the United States would be entangled in the conflict. It has been very clear from day one that Israel then Prime Minister Netanyahu really wants to uh, drag the United States into the conflict. It has been urging the U.S. to bomb Iranian nuclear facilities uh, for years now. So this is not new. So this is the biggest danger for the U.S. to be entangled in the conflict. And if that happens, then all U.S. assets in the region would be potential targets for Iran and also for Iranian uh, proxy actors in the region. A lot of Shia militia groups in Iraq, obviously Hezbollah, Houthis. That means uh, that will really broaden and spread the scope of conflict in the region. Now, if an attack happens to be averted and there manages to be a truce uh, agreed between the two countries, would Iran change its attack in the region? Would it continue to support Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Houthis, or is it possible they might draw down that support out of caution? I think Iran has a um, state ideology and a commitment to challenging the United States hegemony. Uh, Iran sees the United States as a great bully, as a big bully. Um, typically, it's called the great Satan. Um, so that position is not going to change. Iran's opposition to Israel is not going to change. Iran's support for Hamas and Hezbollah are not going to change. So do, those are uh, constants in Iranian foreign policy making. But of course, that doesn't mean that Iran would be uh, encouraging attacks. Um, so Iran could continue to support Hezbollah and Hamas and other, um, other militia in the region. But it doesn't necessarily mean encouraging them to attack Israel and American assets. The Iranian regime has had a stormy couple of years following the, the protests that erupted in late 2022, and also the death of former President Ebrahim Raisi and his foreign minister, Hossein Amir Abdullahian, in a helicopter crash earlier this year. Could an Israeli attack at this point be potentially an existential threat for the Islamic Republic regime? Well, it certainly looks that way, and I think Iranian authorities are very concerned about the ramifications of this conflict, uh, and that's precisely why 
the authorities have tried to not engage in direct confrontation with Israel, but the optics of Iran sitting this conflict out were just too bad for the authorities. Iran claims to represent the axis of resistance, uh, which covers a lot of these various militia groups, um, sub-state actors, some state actors, um, that challenges Israel and the United States. And if Iran um, stayed out of the conflict and didn't participate directly, it was at it was at the risk of losing its credibility within its own support base. So Iran had to act. Iran had to get engaged and you know um, attack Israel. But it does create serious ramifications for its own stability in the country. Um, there is a large dissenting voice in Iran that challenges the official narrative of uh, fighting Israel, fighting the United States, and any conflict, open conflict, um, with the U.S. or with Israel can really open up those uh, fissure points. Thank you very much for that, uh, Sharam Akbarzadeh, who's the convener of the Middle East Forum at Deakin University in Melbourne. Thanks for having me.